This episode is sponsored in part by PTZ Optics. Why hire a camera operator when the control is in your hands? Visit ptzoptics.com for more information. And by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster TC1. Stun your viewers, not your accountant. Visit NewTek.com for more information. All right, guys, we're here for another game time show we've got a really good one for you guys today and we've got a nice special guest but before we get to him let's say hi to mr bill looking mighty red hello, today hello yep i like it got the spider-man shirt My going Spider-Man on going yep and then the spider-man uh microphone <laughs> yeah oh yeah it matches look at that and I, i'm still trying to figure this one out yet like every week we, last week it was from the say something the, say something steven next say something <laughs> last week it was from like the pit of hell and now this week it's crying marine hashtag it's trending go check twitter hey um by the way the <laughs> only reason it was from the pit of hell was because you were like get your light over there it's too dark that's right that's my job i'm the producer here that's what we're doing you're like my dad sometimes so that would make me the drill sergeant right no okay well that i tried, was, that was I, tried. <laughs> I tried Anyways, it's good to see Jade here. She's not no longer under. I'll be good. Okay, she doesn't have a headache anymore. I was gonna say house arrest, but okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Lucas. You guys know him as Mike of all trades, Mister uh, Mo. How you doing, sir? Woo! -hoo! Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm good. Listen, if I knew you. I saw you with the, the ears earlier, and I just thought about them. <laughs> I have a pair of bur purple and black ones in my closet that I could have literally put on, and then we could have oh Dude, <laughs> don't tell her that. She'll make you put them uh, on before the show's over. Look, Jade can't make me do anything. I, she oh, can suggest. <laughs> she I can't can ask. Me I can yeah, ask but wait a second. I thought, wait, oh, I, she could. I, I thought she could. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I just, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, another, I keep threatening to get a pair. We'll see. <laughs> I'm waiting, Bill. I'm waiting. <laughs> guys in the chat, welcome. We see all you guys Wait, coming in here. Back to Bill, real quick. Okay. Yeah. Where's Where's your microphone? Oh, uh, you can't wah, see wah, it. Wah, wah. It's invisible. Uh, that's uh, that's crazy though. Look, it even looks like it has like spider legs on it. <laughs> Good. I've seen that mic? Is that the Hyper X mic? Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That thing's about to. Sure, you can be in the face. So cool. <laughs> We've got a bunch cool of guys screen. in the chat room. Uh, Multi K Matt says, "Hey, Mo." Frank D says, "Mo." Hi, Adam Hi. Kelb. Hi. What's going on, everybody? Uh, MG, and eh, he's here to bother me again, like he is every week. The mighty Thor is in the house. Uh, we got a bunch of guys in the house here. Who else? Frank D, Paul Burns. Do I say that right? Bears, Bears, or is it Bears, or is it Bears? Never ask. Hey, Paul, you should uh, you should go ahead and you know enunciate that in the chat. Yeah, first. please. You know, just spell it, it out. Just, I'm know, sorry. Phonetically. Goofy foot. Thank Car you. There you go. <laughs> Carl O, the bad guy. Mike Worley. What's going on, guys? We appreciate you guys coming out here. Well, there's <laughs> been a lot of news this week i i was actually surprised because i was telling everybody here on the panel i said oh, i don't know what we're going to talk about well we're not going to spend a lot of time on it but arcade one up did drop some information we're going to talk a little bit about it right after this arcade one up news and notes All right, so today, guys, they did it. I know there was a lot of controversy. We're not going to get into the controversy of that one update show being canceled last time. Uh, let's focus on what was talked about today because I think there was a lot of nuggets on it. 
Uh, Moat, you're our guest of honor today. What was your big takeaway from today's uh, one-up announcement or the one-up date, if you want to call it, um, that you feel that the community should take away from this? That Dave McIntosh actually said something. <laughs> know, okay, okay. Like, 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 wait, 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 because I'm pretty sure somebody from A1 was watching this. But honestly, it's just we expected, I expected song and dance, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I expected it to be a lot of beating around the bush. And he, he did a little bit of that. A lot of his answers, right? He did a little oh, no, bit. There de- oh, there definitely was. He did. There that. definitely was. But, but considering what he did state, and I had to watch it on replay because I was going to get a haircut because I wanted to be pretty for you guys, right? Um, <laughs> and, he did answer some stuff, you know, like he even talked about him liking leaks, which is funny because I remember getting ripped in a hole last year for that. But I digress. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, it was it was really good to hear, you know, Travis ask some good, good uh, questions and actually asked questions I didn't think he was going to answer. But it's nice that they did it. Travis, you um, did do a show within 20 minutes and didn't tell anybody. So kudos to you for that. But mm-hmm. I think the biggest takeaway is that they are actually answering questions to the community and then kind of pseudo confirmed releases, et cetera, et cetera. That's, that's my takeaway. It's, it's all good. Jade, <laughs> what about you? What was your takeaway from it? Um, I, I think that it was, well, I feel like it was better than anything else that I've seen from them. I mean, in the last year, at least I, I really haven't paid much attention to their PR aspect until before then. Um, or excuse me, before then. Um, so I did think that it was like, it, it was good that he gave answers, but at the same time, like he, it was, it was like, it was hard for him to, to just give like direct answers. It's like, <laughs> dude, he's like sitting there like on a, on a typewriter, like, you know, giving this like long winded answer where he finally gets to something. And I took it as like, like the thing with MVC too, I, I feel I, I took it this way. I think other people might have taken it this way too, but it was like he made it sound like it wasn't like a high priority to them at first, but then kind of after a very long-winded explanation, went back and said like we're pouring all of our resources into it right now. Kind of, um, I, I think it would be good for them to clarify that, like in a short tweet or something, like, hey. You know, there was a lot of talk around MVC2 yesterday, and we just want to make it clear that, you know, it's a, it's this, like, this is the state, you know, we've poured all of our time and resources into it or whatever the case is, just so that people have like a clear picture of it. Because it was good that they clarified that March is like a very prominent time frame, um, but I think that they just need to be a little bit more direct. I think if he is more direct the next time he's on the show, it will be even better. Mr. Bill, did you get to catch it live? I watched it live, but I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, mostly. I was kind of, you know, it just kind of popped up. So I was in the middle of doing some other stuff at the time. Uh, People were coming home, getting ready for dinner, all that kind of stuff. So, but I did watch it. I was mostly paying attention. I do like that, you know, they did kind of address what happened the first time, you know, it's all we wanted. We, we didn't need a full on explanation of why you canceled just something right. about it. So I'm glad that they addressed that. I'm glad they addressed the whole thing about, you know, you said you were going to be transparent and then this happened and you said nothing. So that felt good. It felt like a good start. No. Um, I think your people, I think if people went into it expecting every question they have in their head to be answered, they went in the wrong way. Because that wasn't right. going to happen, and that's probably never going to happen. You're going to get little bits here and there. If they plan to do this show once a month and keep it going, you're going to get a little bit each time. Um, the MVC2 thing, I, I don't know. I, I, maybe I just heard it differently, but it didn't sound for sure like March was a, was a date they were shooting for it to be done. It sounded like March was when they were shooting for the next update to let us know what's going on. Right, right, which, right. Which, you know, so... But he said that it was working and mm-hmm. they're going to have an update in March, which to me is insinuating in a sense that there's a possibility there might be some sort of public candidate well, by then. One thing that I know from from having David on the show in the past is that David has a ten, 
he has a tendency to spin things in a PR way to make you have to read into things where he doesn't give you a straight answer, but he doesn't flat out not tell you. Right. And I felt the whole, the whole thing I, I, to the point where I was texting Jade. I said, this isn't live. I said, this mm -hmm. is not live because it was too scripted. I really felt as a producer, as somebody that has done this for 17 years, David McIntosh, now they could tell us something different. They could say, nope, he had no idea what questions were going to be asked. But And I'd, but, I'd call bull crap on that because I... Well, no, he he knew the questions because Travis said on my mm. show, he said that they... Right. He gave him a list of questions, so... Okay. You know, maybe, maybe it was maybe to get some answers and find out okay. if the answer X, Y, Z, whatever. So but he played it off as he didn't know, though. Right, you notice right, that? Right, right, he right. played it off, and, and I'm like, nah, man, you, you know, Travis... Travis did a really good job. I thought he, I mean, he hit, he hit between the eyes. I just don't uh -huh. think he, I, I think he, uh, David spun it in a way that it was very PR ish. And I think I, I even, I, I talked but to Travis, but he, but he's PR. No, no, I, mean, I understand like, that, but then you don't. That's like his, that's like his you don't put language. him on the show. I, then you don't put him on the show no, because no, no. you need transparency. I, 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 told, I totally get it, but I'm just saying like. It, I I would see it being very difficult for him to speak a different mm -hmm. language. Like he would need to practice because that's right. his language is blah blah I blah. Told typewriter, Travis, administrative, blue blue blue. I felt and I told you Jade the same thing. I felt like when when he said let's talk about MVC two and getting online and and for the record I could care less. I have no intentions of playing this mm -hmm. online. So I, I I'm mm -hmm. I'm expressing this concern because there's people out there that just bought the cabinet for this reason. Mm -hmm. And I really felt that he was like, well, there's a lot of titles out there and we got to prioritize which titles are more important and they're going to get the attention first because just before mm -hmm. that, they talked about Terminator 2. Why isn't mm -hmm. there an update? Tra you remember Travis asked that. And that's when they opened the door for Marvel versus Capcom 2. And I really felt that's what, it, and to hear you say it, Jade, and even you, Moat, and some of these guys in the chat room, I'm like, okay, I'm not going crazy here. That's what mm -hmm. I heard. Right. That the priority, yeah. they didn't they didn't put emphasis that there's priority on Marvel versus Paul, Capcom too. Can you pull Paul uh, Paul's comment up? It's uh, the one that says plus. It's yep. not like they pulled questions from the chat. No, that was something. Well, that, they and not and something. I, well, they, they did at the end though, didn't they? They did a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think I think they grabbed a few. But okay, I'm gonna like. There's two things I want to <laughs> say about this. One, I wish that they would have had more time to do that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you look at the questions that were asked, these are questions that literally people in the community have been like banging on Arcade One Up's door to get answered. MVC2, KI Pro, and stuff like that. And some of them didn't even get answered in the fullest detail because right. of such long winded answers that were coming in from uh, Mr. McIntosh. So, um, but as far as like what was in the chat, like I was there watching and there was not very many questions questions in the chat it was like are you releasing this game it was the same crap that it always is it was mm -hmm. a bunch of people like are you releasing this game this game how about this game this game let's do this game we want to yep. see this game blah blah blah, mm -hmm. blah 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 it was like the same thing over and over and then like a handful of people saying like just totally irrelevant things so yeah. i don't think that there was a lot of good questions in the chat that were unrelated to what they were already talking about right yeah and but that's, and, just, that's and, my and, personal view yeah and let me just say this to people, too. If you're getting your hopes up for a very specific game just because David mentioned 80s games, temper your expectations yeah. because we don't know <laughs> what their plans are. And I, I, I got to be honest, it would not surprise me to learn if we could hear behind closed doors to learn that they've got licenses to a ton of games that they have no intention of reason of releasing and they're holding on to the license just to hold on to the license. Well, facts. well wait a second, guys. They haven't released a new Galaga. Isn't that an 80s game? Don't get me started. We've already I gotten want... a few Pac-Mans. They... Dude, I, I want them to take that Galaga oh. Galaxian Party kit that they did and make that into a three-quarter, throw a few more games on it, and you, I'll buy that in a heartbeat. So that overall... great games on it. I think you're, oh, you're oh. never going to have... like People are never going to be satisfied. Let's just, let's just be honest here. Right. No right. matter what happens, mm -hmm. everything's going to yeah. be scrutinized. They're going to yeah. get pee pee slapped all over the place. What, no but they need to be scrutinized. Let's be. No, let's I be agree. Fair. I agree completely. I agree completely, and I'll be the first person to do it. But I'm just saying, like we're at the point now where their market has gotten so big, and our community is expanding rapidly, 
and all these people know about things and bounce things off of each other like one 30 minute show from them is never going to satisfy everybody's thirst for information well, and, like, and to be fair we're not, not asking it to, to satisfy but one thing that came out of that and i want to see what you guys think in the chat room somebody made a comment and if it was you in the chat room say hey it was me somebody made a, co uh, a comment that said do away with the stupid risers and the separations and just do the deluxe cabinets going forward and the XL cabinets. And I a hundred percent agree with that person. What, what about happened? people who like risers? Okay. I, I think uh, we're at the point now where everybody's buying Walmart, a riser and unless... Walmart wants their non riser, non marquee light that they can sell. Two ninety nine for three hundred. Right, right, right. They will not do it. They will continue. To I don't know. David seemed Walmart like he was them. entertaining that during the. If you but go back also, and watch it, but if you go back and watch it in the beginning, he also said those were still on the table. I'm that, not saying take them completely off the table, like you know. But I, but I'm saying like they should put more but, emphasis in the deluxe cabinets. Don't make two of them and then everybody start buying them and then it's like, oh, now you got to mix and match your stuff. I, I agree with that, but I think that you. You can ditch risers, absolutely. You can get rid of them, but I still think that you need to keep the three-quarter scale because there's a whole aspect of the community that a lot of people don't think about. You know, there are people that are who need them, not to just be able to sit at them, but people who might have disabilities that need to be able to reach them. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I Angel's one. Angel's that, one, so, yeah. You know, and, and half yeah. is another. So it's just like you kind of need that line to be there. But, yeah, F risers all day. No risers. Give me Deluxe. Give me XL. That's what the standard Wait a minute. Wait be. a minute. Guys. Yeah. Guys. I, I would agree. Do you think that's air you're breathing? Uh-oh. What are you talking What are you talking about? Sure, yes. I got the Matrix reference, yeah. Uh. So did I. So did I. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, thank I was you. just, I'm like sitting there like, what, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Expectations. Okay. <laughs> my, but see, Come this on, is, Steven. But wait a second, this is my thing. You, when we first got the Gen 1 cabinets, they all looked the same. Everybody complained that they want them to look like the actual cabinets. So everyone is different. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. when you start doing the deluxe cabinets and you're making a mini replica for those guys that want this, you got to build the fleet. You can't just do two or three titles and be like, okay, we're done with the deluxe. Or even you guys that like the XL that you have the room for, which I wish I did. Um, well, but you can't just do big, two cabinets. how big their market shares are. And if you think about like the different models that they've moved from generation to generation, like how much of it do you think is, and I'm legitimately asking this, like, what do you guys think? How much of it do you think is an experiment to see what, how, what people's reactions are and what the reaction is in the market to say like, Hey, this is how we're going to do it. You know, after this point moving forward. But, but devil's advocate, that's kind of why they are also running the arcade, the, uh, that one up update, you know, because it's, for lack of a better term, it's free market research. If you have your right. hardcores where they're sitting there telling you like, you know, people that are going to go buy more than three or four cabinets in their lifetime, they're telling you, hey, well, we don't like this form factor or, hey, we want this or that. I mean, you're getting you're getting free information. So mm -hmm. I think you have to kind of weigh that in as well. Yeah. And Good did point. they mention something about potentially starting like a focus group? Yes. From people within yeah. the community. They didn't really expound upon as, what as the focus Paul, group was. Paul pointed out, mm, right. um, they did answer Mike B's question about the focus group. Mm. I, didn't, I didn't catch it. They though. did. Mike B wanted to get on the focus group. Yeah, um, he said, is there a mailing list for it? And what did they say? Did they say yes? Well, if you get on the mailing list, I'll just tell you right now, you might as well just throw it out the window because that thing is broken and it, it ain't going gonna, ain't gonna <laughs> to work. So I'm just going to throw that out there right the now. Loyal, mm -hmm. The loyalty list? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to beat this to death because I'm sure there's going to be a thousand videos out by this before the show. No, I don't. I, show I just, my clockwork. What do, what do these mean? guys. Oh, show there's, my... already, there's already videos out now. What do you mean? Like yeah, yeah. show my clockwork orange thing. thing. Le, le, I, these guys, you guys don't want to hear about this all night. I'll show you the clockwork orange thing. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on this because guys, seriously, like, and this is no jab at the other guys, but I mean, it is what it is. You're going to hear about it all weekend long. Um. That I just I just thought like because of the hole that Arcade One Up has dug, let's finish it off with this this subject. Um, do you think what they did tonight kind of brought their credibility back up in the community? No, I think I think it was a start, but I don't think that one episode, one thirty minute episode of 
you know, 30% of it being like typewriter sounds was enough to bring their credibility back. I, I think it's a start. I think people will look and go, oh, okay. But I think it's going to take, you know, three, four, five, maybe even six mm -hmm. episodes before people can feel like they're reliable. You know, I mean, at this point, like people have had their heart broken enough about, um, you know, various uh, products that they put on the market from the pro to MVC2 to, to, you know, Blitz, to name three specific examples. Um, and, and I think that, you know, they haven't had answers and they felt left out to dry. Then you've seen like sales and stuff like that. And so I think that a lot of people are kind of like, you know, we don't trust you. So I think that this was a, a good start. It was an okay start and that if they continue to do that and get better at it, then I think they'll build up trust, especially with people in the community, uh, those kind of consumers. So I put the poll in the mm. chat room. Um, guys in the chat room, fill that out. Mo, what about you? Do you think this this kind of brought everybody back together? We're all singing Kumbaya? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, listen, listen, it gave everybody an opportunity to go on the live chat and do what they're going to do out of their respective camps. Um, what it did do, however, in my own personal opinion, I think it proved that Travis is actually trying to get the information that the community wants. And I think it mm -hmm. just confirmed that RK one up is going to RK one up and ninja dodge like Neo in the Matrix and dodge a couple bullets and maybe take one to the <laughs> leg and, and answer one. You know, right. Jay, right. It's a good start. It is, you know, but you can't just have one or two shows, you know. It's, it's going to take time. And one 30 minute telecast or whatever honestly this could have been recorded because they answered agreed four and a half minutes of live yeah, questions uh, this could have been something that was recorded or something that was written up in an article or something and posted on their face on their on their facebook page or on their yeah. website if, you know i mean like honestly it was just yeah, i the think they should do here, but... i think they should have a pre-recorded show yeah and then absolutely. they should have another show like a day later where to follow it up they basically it's like q a but they're very yeah. it's very specific mm -hmm. q a i think that, that would be better market research and i think it would be a better way to be transparent with people because then there's not they can edit it there's not going to be as much confusion between the chat and the hosts and all that and you know by the way um to caveat on what moat said about travis like dude i have seen the flack that travis is getting and like i'm sorry but i don't i don't see how any of that crap is fair like this dude is literally mm -hmm. not getting paid has no monetary gains is not getting free anything and is going out of his way to like be a connection between the community or in, in arcade one up and to be as transparent as he can with them i don't no, I mean, I do kind of know, but it just doesn't make sense to me why people keep connecting him back to this as if it's his responsibility and his decisions like the he he can only do what he's basically allowed to do. But what he what he can do outside of that is ask questions and get information. But I mean, I wouldn't want him to be giving us like bunk answers for questions that he's just speculating on, you know, like no, that's what we to do. Get real information yeah. to the community. And so for people to be like ripping on him, it's like, dude, you're literally like you're one, you're killing the messenger. And, and two, you're like beating the crap out of somebody who's trying to help you legitimately without like a condition. Mm -hmm. Right. But they point, but it's easy to point the finger at Travis because Travis is the new guy, you know, like it used to be, mm -hmm. You point the finger at John, you know what I mean? Right, when David, right. When David actually, you just pointed at David, you just pointed at Scott, right? But now Travis is the new guy. He's the one giving information. And, you know, whether people feel he's compromised or not, you know, whatever, he's the easiest target. And honestly, he's literally, if this hasn't shown that he's literally trying to get things for the community, I don't know what will. Honestly, I right. don't know what will. So, Travis, if you're watching, we figured out what your title is. The Fall Guy. <laughs> Take that to the bank. <laughs> Bill, what about you? Yeah, did it win? The, did it win your heart back? To, are you, are you back <laughs> in Arcade One Up Camp? I never left, really. That's it. You're <laughs> off the show. Hit the. Where's that? No, but button? In, in all seriousness, I look. I agree with what everybody else has said. I think it's a good start. It, you know, look. I want to say, you know, it was really easy to just throw up one show, but apparently, it wasn't that easy. 
but at least they got this one done. So let's see if they continue it and if they continue to, you know, go through different things. I, you know, if we're three shows in and they're asking and Travis is asking the same questions and we're getting the same crap back, then it's not a success. Uh, there yeah. she goes again. Can anyone see Bill's mic? <laughs> we're back to that again. <laughs> now, everybody in the chat room, at least here, is saying, you know, Travis did a great job. Um, you know, YouTubers Bo, are done. Bo, Bo said a funny comment. Can you pull his comment up? That, yeah, I, that was I, I probably had it. Funny. I probably had it up, but you were too busy slurping, so you didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, some people say I'm good at that. Okay, he says, Bo says he should get paid. <laughs> Most content creators should get paid. This mentality is crazy to me. But what? here's here's the thing. Is he crazier for not getting paid? Or would it be crazier for him to be getting paid? Because which person would you trust more? Paid Travis or Travis, Indiana Jones Travis, who's not getting paid? Uh, I was just going right. to say, people have a hard yeah. time if... If Moat decides he's going to do a live stream and he's going to say it's only it's only for people that join, I forget what it's called on or that you join it for like a dollar or whatever you have is your baseline, right? right. People freak out like Moat should be Patreon, doing this for whatever. free. Yeah. Why, why yeah. is he charging me for this? Or these super chats, these YouTubers are e-beggars or people do Patreon. Listen, you know. I, I would agree with that. There's a lot of work that goes in the video creation, whether people realize it or not. And here, now you got me on my soapbox because I've been producing <clears> videos <throat> now because Jade tells me I need to do more YouTube videos. So I'm doing more YouTube videos, which one you're going to see here in a little bit. Um, and I, I don't know about you guys, but when I shoot video, it takes me sometimes five hours for a three minute video. That's including editing. And when a company sends you a product that's maybe worth, I don't know, let's, let's just go with the new wave toys is $150, right? Mm-hmm. I already told you guys when I do a live show and I charge clients, it's two hundred dollars per hour. So now you multiply that by five hours. That's a thousand dollars. That's what I would charge. So wait, five five times. Yeah. Five times, five times two hundred is a thousand dollars. It's ten thousand dollars. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> People, people want to say, you know, hey, you, you know, okay. YouTubers shouldn't get these products. They shouldn't be getting these for free. You shouldn't be doing this. But what about the time that goes into it? You know, right. Bill's so angry at me right now. I can't even pay attention to what Stephen's <laughs> saying. <laughs> am, I, am I right? Am I or am I just no, no, you're, you're up the wrong right. You are, you are no, right. You're, you're absolutely right. right. And the reason, and Travis said it clear as day, the reason why he doesn't want to be paid for it is so that when it's some BS, he can just walk away, and right. then we can get a spicy right. little sound clip of him just letting it all hang out there you know and that's it yeah and he's under an nda but let's sure. be real anybody who has who's privy to information yep. is under some form of an nda like that's oh yeah like, i don't i don't hear people saying this crap about people when they do this stuff for nintendo or sony or or playstation or whoever else right you know i'm like that is some of the most mm -hmm. ignorant stuff you hear in the world and it's so narrow-minded travis is literally out here doing if y'all knew how many hours this man sits and spins doing this stuff whether it be beta testing whether it be trying to get information etc cetera, etc cetera, Y'all, some of you will just be like, there's no freaking way. And to not get a dime, literally, he, yeah. he, he, that's part and, of his job. He and, consults for this, you know? And mm -hmm. and Bo says, Bo says everyone putting in work like that deserves to be paid. I agree. He does deserve <clears throat> to be paid, but he volunteered, as, you know, as a man, right. as a grown-ass man, right. to do right. that mm -hmm. um, without, without that condition so that he would be free of the burden of being monetarily attached to this company. But I think that's why a lot of us have backed away from a lot of the companies um, in, in certain instances. I mean, we still work with different companies, but I think we've, we've pulled way back um, because of the way the community has been toward the content creators. Like, we try to get in with the company so we can get the information, and everybody gets jealous. Like, oh, these YouTubers, they get everything. They get all the inside mm -hmm. information. And then we do a video to help you guys to give you the truth before they're willing to give it to you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then we get we get strung up at the pole, and we get other content creators ripping us up one side and down the other, doing videos, so they can't think of anything good to make content about. So they got to make content about other content creators. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's content. nonsense. Okay. The content is boring as hell, but whatever. Um. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I think that's where we're at right now. And and listen, I agree with you guys. I think I think it's a good starting point. But let's see the changes. Talk is cheap. Show us. Right. Give us what you're telling us you're going to give us. 
fix the things that you're telling us you're going to fix. Until that happens, I'm still going to be skeptical that, you know, it could be a year before we see any changes to this. So, with that said, one of the things I wanted to do, we I know we do a make or break segment, but I wanted to try something different. And I put out a, <laughs> and I put out a, a video today. What I want to start a lot of, we're seeing a lot of people in the home arcade and gaming community coming up and, and wanting to learn more about video production to, to make their video better. So I'm trying to put out these short little videos to kind of help you, you know, at least get to the point, the right, David. Step in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So from this point oh, okay. forward, everybody, I want you to start the hashtag cancel she lion. <laughs> and let's see if we can make that go viral by the end of the show. You know, you know that's gonna happen now. <laughs> I'm only kidding. You don't have to do that. You can't. You can't turn back. All right, I'm getting to the video. Oh, hey. So you want to shoot some video and some content for YouTube? You want to be a YouTuber, the next up and coming star in the home arcade and video game market? But your video looks like this. I'm gonna give you a few tips to help make your video and your audio stand out. So in the age of smartphones, we all have a setup that looks similar to this with our video game collection, our arcades behind us, but our audio sounds like this, our video looks like this, and we think that just because we have a smart cell phone that has good video, that we're gonna get good video quality out of it. In reality, it just looks bad. And it causes people to just tune out. They can't see you, they can't hear you. So here's what your video and your audio could sound like if you took a little bit of time. Most of it doesn't cost a lot of money. Sometimes all it takes is a little light and a little bit of audio to make your video stand out just like now I have two sets of lights which I'm gonna show you here in a little bit sitting at 10 and 2 these are lights I take everywhere with me they are a little bit on the pricier side but you can get ones on Amazon for 30 bucks these lights setting them up at 10 and 2 give me the optimal light without destroying the background that I'm trying to portray behind me making me the focal point there's a lot of different options you can get. Ring lights are all over and they're very popular with different brightness adjustments. That's the biggest thing, is having the ability to adjust the brightness levels of your light so that you can fine tune your video to make it look and have the audio to make it sound the best possible. The microphone that I'm using right now is a lapel mic, as you can see right now. I have it on the inside of my shirt with a little magnet. If I had a black shirt on, you wouldn't even see the magnet. And it's picking up my voice very well. You probably heard it when I was touching it. And these are the little things that you can do to improve your video, to improve your audio in the arcade and gaming space. You take these few steps and you'll be on your way to creating top-notch quality content. Take it from a guy who does broadcasting for a living. So guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, I really appreciate a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to see more content like this, tips and tricks on doing video and how I do it with different tools, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to maybe intermix this into some of the other content that I do. I really appreciate it, guys. Until next time, keep it buzzing. Love the I love the comments showing off the uh, the Wii U classics. Are going to be they're going to be classics. Anyways, um, we were all having a little little joke because Jade here decided she wasn't going to watch the video. You can tell by her lighting she has not watched the video at all. You can see that. See that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jade, I got you. Jade, I got you. I got you. All right, maybe, go maybe maybe she watched the video and decided that she was going to do her own interpretation. And therefore, her headphones and her ears light up.
you know, so so maybe that's the way she's right. more light to the camera. See, my she's cat, the one that hits my, the dislikes on all my videos every time face. I upload it. it. It says Jade Shillion. <laughs> oh, Wait. Shawalski. Shar sorry, Shawalski. Shawalski. Sorry, I got, it, yeah. I got it wrong. What's up, Angel, in the chat room? Um, so, yeah, anyways, what I'm going to try to do is put little little things together. Three minutes, we're not going to go bananas with them and upload them. You know, I have other videos that have been archived for stuff like that. But if it helps you, you know, that's what I'm about. I want to try to help people better their videos so I don't cringe when I watch it. And it, it's just something. It's like a musician now listening to something. you just have to, to take your own advice and then start using a stand in your videos. You know what? I did it one time because I was too daggone lazy and I just carried the phone. So don't give me no crap on that. Um, all right. I'm so, just kidding. I, lo I love you, Steve. I know you do. I know okay. you do. Bill, so what do, what do we got going on here with Zillion? What, what, tell, tell us a little bit about this before we get into some Act Games news here. Okay. So this is my uh, retro gaming spotlight for the week. And it's kind of a, I felt like it was a hidden gem from the Sega Master System era. And there's some interesting little tidbits that go along with this game that I'll talk about after we watch. Retro Gaming Spotlight. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Retro Gaming Spotlight. On this one, I wanted to highlight what I consider a hidden gem for the Sega Master System. This is Zillion. Zillion was released for the Sega Master System in 1987, and it was meant to be a sort of uh, tie-in with an anime that was released around the same time in Japan called Red Photon Zillion. In the game, you primarily take on the role of JJ, and it is your job to traverse the enemy base, collecting floppy disks, and also to rescue your companions, Apple and Champ, who also become playable later on in the game. Now, as you progress through the game, you'll be able to collect power-ups as well, which will allow you to upgrade your character with things like increased health, better firepower, and better jumping abilities. Now, I always found this a really interesting game because it reminded me a lot of another game that I enjoyed called Impossible Mission, which I primarily remember from the days of Commodore 64. And of course, the whole play mechanic and aspect of having to infiltrate a base and move around through different areas of it really do remind you of Metroid as well, making this an early entry into the Metroidvania style of games. Another interesting thing about this game is there is a little bit of lore between this game and a certain peripheral that was also released for the Sega Master System, but I'll tell you about that when the video is done. So let us know in the chat, is this a game that you remember playing? Did you have this one for the Sega Master System back in the day? Let us know, and now, back to game time. All right, so here's something really interesting about this game, and it's it's kind of like a chicken and egg thing. So if people remember, uh, Sega came out with the um, their light phaser, which was kind of oh, yeah. like the, the light gun that uh, the Nintendo had. Now, the, for the Master the, System. For the Master System, yes. Yeah. So the light phaser yeah. came out, I think, in 86. This game came, came out in 87. But if you look at the gun that's on the, the title screen for Zillion. And this was also, there was an anime that went along with this game as well. They look pretty much exactly the same, but there's, there's like, there's no consensus among which actually came first. Did they, did they actually make the gun first and then that was inspired into the game and the anime? Or were the game and anime in development and then they made the gun to match? So it's kind of like an interesting little trivia tidbit that goes along Ooh. with that game. So, so what's the answer? Nobody, there's no Nobody consensus. Knows. Some people, some people oh, it's say just, the gun it's just came trivial. first. Yeah, okay. some people, yeah, some people say the gun came first and then they incorporated it into the game. Some say that, no, the game was in development and then they made the gun to match. Yeah, it does look like the Zapper, the Sega Zapper. Yeah. I remember cool. playing that um, in... Because the Master System had those 3D glasses, too. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my God, what was it? Like, maybe 
No, it wasn't Babbage's. It was something big, like back in the mid, EB, early mid eighties. I'll say maybe KB. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. What it about was like, games? It was like it a Circuit City type place. Oh. But remember, remember how Circuit City used to be service like, merchandise? No. But it used to be like shelves and aisles of just electronics, like it. And then you know later on they like fancied it up when. It wasn't Radio started, Shack, like, was it? No, no, no. It was big, like Circuit City. Mm. I can't remember. Uh, didn't the only other one I can think of is Comp USA. I was thinking like Silo. There mm, was no, it wasn't, um, it wasn't Comp USA. They went out of business though. Yeah, they went out. Of, well, I can't the, think. The of... one I'm talking about went out of business as well. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, you'll remember it later, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys know in the chat room, put it out there. Um, UAG glasses are in the building, baby. That's right. <laughs> All right. So before we get into some ad games, nod news here. The poll for the question I asked: Electronic did... boutique. That's what I said. EB. Yeah, that's Babbage's. Yeah, yeah Babbage's. Oh, oh, electronic no, boutique. No, no, wait, yeah. wait. Maybe, maybe it's not. Comp USA. It... No. Oh God, yeah, I'm like, so lost. Babbage's it's not fries or Comp USA. Yeah, all all right. that was like Babbage. I feel like it could be Babbage's. Babbage's but... was in the mall. Yeah. Babbage yeah. software, et cetera, and EB games, yep. they were all one they thing had like, until until yeah, Funkland, that, God, Water Mountain yep. became GameStop. Yep. Yeah, that's what that's what I, that's what I was thinking is is electronic boutique and Babbage's were the same place. So it couldn't have been mm -hmm. electronics boutique. I'll never know. I'll remember though later tomorrow. <laughs> so the poll that you guys I had asked, did Arcade One Up gain the community's trust after today's show? Did they earn it back? Fourteen percent said yes. 86% said no. So there you got it. Um, wow. Oh, that's what she said when she got off the poll. Exactly. <laughs> Let's talk a little <laughs> nod here before she nods off. Nod 2023, a lot of stuff going on for this. Uh, we're not going to go through everything, but one of the things while I'm flipping through this, I want to kind of ask you guys. At Games announced the new updated version of their pinball. It's going to be a little deeper. It's going to have a bigger screen um, on the back box. It's going to be a 32-inch play field, 4K. And then also their ALU is going to be upgraded as well with a 4K display. Now, if you want the fastest processor that's in these machines, you can upgrade your current edition of the ALU and the pinball. But you're not going to get 4K unless you subsidize your own screen for it. And it's about 400 bucks, 350 to 400 bucks, depending on what you're getting. 4K, guys, do we need 4K in any of these machines unless you're doing your own like PC build with it? Well, do we need Pitball no, or, or, or the way. ALU, whatever, whatever you want to do? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Okay. I, I would think it could be interesting in the pinball if. The games take advantage of 4K. Uh, just a sharper screen. If you know, if everything moves a little, you know, and looks better, I th especially with a screen that big for the pinball, I think it could be very interesting. Um, as far as like the ALU goes, if you're hooking up a PC and you're going to play PC games on it that are capable of 4K, sure. For the retro games they have on it, I don't think it makes a big difference. Unless they're going to implement Steam on it, in which case, yes, a 4K would be great. Well, Steam would be you. connected through your PC. No, right. no, no. I mean, like, in their well, UI. They're not going to do that. They well, did it, it when, be, when it first it came really out. Cool. They did that. It would be really cool. I, I forget what happened. They did have it originally when it first came out. I don't know if they lost the license with it or something, but there used to be a Steam icon that you click on it, and you could get into Steam. Maybe that, maybe that is going to be a thing, though. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't like having to hook up, which I don't on mine. I just run coin ops, but I don't like having to hook up an external device. Like I just want something that's going to do it all same from the here. inside. Because I think it, 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 you know, Mo, you have also uh, an ALU. I mean, do you have a PC running on it all, or are you just running straight coin ops? Or no, it's just straight coin ops right now. I have a PC okay. running on um on a modded. And a and you got kids, right? Yes, sir. So for you to have your kids, you know, mess around with a PC to get it working on this, it's probably cumbersome and that that's kind of how i am with it like i have to have yeah. it easy so the kids can yeah. play it and, and anybody and, and else norm, comes over. And, and normally i'm of the, the the belief that that you know you don't want to have something but 
with this option, with it being 4K, I saw it and I literally thought to myself, you know, for for a fighting game fans myself, I'm like, this would be good for to put like a PlayStation 5 or a Series S or an X, mm. maybe hide okay. somewhere and then and then literally right. just you know use it as a okay a current gen fighting cabinet, you know, or yeah. something of that nature. Like that's something that could be done. You know, you can play your you can get your side scroll beat them up. You can play your Shredder's Revenge and things of that nature. So there's some versatility to be to be used with this cabinet. What do we think yeah. of price point on this? No. <laughs> i think i think look i really commend um at games for for what they're doing like this is a great big i think in my opinion from where they've been in the market this is a great big leap for them uh for the pinball especially 4k is an awesome option uh to be going with and i i even their uh their upgraded alu and the option to actually swap out pcbs that's i mean that's incredible mm -hmm. um but I just don't think that I'm sorry, in my opinion, they're not going to be able to justify a 1K price point, even though I get it. 4K upgraded PCB, like maybe you could pull like maybe $7.99. I mean, think about how much their standard cabs were a year ago, you well, know? Well, let me ask you this then. Yeah, but that's what they are now isn't it yeah, I mean, I know is. get are cheaper, we getting free but... shipping with that no of course heck no. <laughs> no. You're not no. no let me okay. ask you jade though are you paying 6.99 for an arcade one-up cabinet that happens to be marvel versus capcom 2 i paid 5.99 okay that's 600 bucks do you really think you're going to get a 4k pinball for under a grand i'm going to go out on a limb and say this well, is going to be 14.99 that's what I i'm going to say that part of that wow. i think that I think that part of that price, well, the pinball, no, the pinball is more justifiable because their pinball machines have always been more expensive. I'm talking more about the ALU. The ALU is probably going to be so, a seven ninety nine to an eight ninety nine price point, or even okay, a six ninety nine well, to seven ninety nine no, no, would be good with free shipping. But there's not going to be no free shipping, so you know that's going to be there. Ain't no free hundred shipping. It's one hundred percent what Moat's saying. Yep. Carl Carlo brought up something too. He said nine ninety nine comes with bit LCD. Standard. Oh, that's true. Now, that's right. I don't, right, right, it's I don't think I. I I'm not sure about the thousand. That may pump it up. Just the fact that it has the bit LCD built into Look, it. Look, if it was nine ninety nine with the bit LCD, four <clears throat> K screen, upgraded PCB, and not crappy artwork, and well, it's going to be the same artwork. It, free shipping? No, they should not do that. But <laughs> it, and it had free shipping. Um, I I would say okay, okay, for nine ninety nine, okay. but so, so. but not if it doesn't have free shipping. No, but you know, but you know, it's not going to have free shipping. So you got to hope that this thing gets sold yeah. at Sam's Club or right. Walmart or something, so you can get their free shipping. But, but it has dual HDMI, so you can capture right. it. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Like the and original thing. thing. No, yeah. I mean it really is. It really is an exciting improvement and and cool unit coming from them. Also, yeah, I really wish they would offer like something for. Can we art, can we talk it. about this? outdated ui like i i really want to talk to at games about this because <laughs> am i uh, listen let me let me first preface am i the only one that thinks this is outdated i saw it and i literally i was like man that's a usb loader from the from the okay Nintendo thank Wii. you Legit, I, I thank you exactly you know what i get I oh my god you, you are so there has right to be there's no way that there wouldn't be options to change the thumb no style. there is no there this is going to be the new ui listen yeah, this reminds me of the os 10 How leopard that? back when os 10 like 10 years ago on mac leopard, os 10 oh my god this yeah. is how iTunes Before was. You IPS could, screen. You could go through and, and everything was... Listen, at games, talk to your users before you finalize a UI. This is not, this is not okay, the look, way. Can you say for certain, though, that there are, is not an option to change the thumb style? Maybe that's just what they thought looked the fancy. P-Dub showed the like, video. No video. Yeah. P-Dub showed the video. Yeah. This is the way it is. Like it, love it, or leave it. That's the way it's mm -hmm. going to be. Um, you could see I mean, here... Maybe, okay. You what they it. should have done if they were going to rip something off, they should have just ripped off the old blade system from the 360. Like, honestly, that would probably be just a lot better. You know, Microsoft would have been on that like a fly on a big donkey. <laughs> yeah, Chris, listen, listen, creative licensing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it. Their UI has to be better because right now I think we'd all agree it's clunky. And it is. Mm -hmm. I agree with I agree with your average gamer. He's saying it's way better than it used to be. I, I, I would agree with that. It's a step up. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not that Well, the big question of a step. is, too, is it going to be snap? Well, ideally, it should be snappy, right? But, 
Right, but you have to think though, and and I was, and I literally just had this thought: people might not even see this UI once you set it up. They because there's the option now, at least on the the AL, ALU has the option now where you can just literally boop directly into like coin ops, right? Mm-hmm. So some people might just literally just use that option and never touch that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could I could see that totally, totally. I agree. But I then agree. you might as well stay with your. your I think other it's one. great though. Like I yeah. I mean prop props to uh to at games um okay stop dancing around it what's your price <clears throat> what do you what are you what are you calling on this for a price what does it have to be for you to buy it i'll, I'll take 9.99 with free shipping you're not going to get free shipping yeah, so you just throw that out the well, window then i'm not then i'm not going to buy it <laughs> unless you get it from I ha- sam's i have my if i you have get my capcom sam's. multi multi cade with my ps4 and pc in it so i don't i don't need it okay well, that's not what we're saying we're, we're but I'm saying okay, nine ninety nine with free shipping. With free shipping, okay. I, would, I would do it. Moat, what are you calling? Let's see the bit. The bit LED is three hundred. You know I'm, I'm trying to break down. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Go ahead. Do your thing, man. Let, let, I think. I, I honestly think it's going to be probably. It's going to retail at nine ninety nine. It should probably retail between seven ninety nine and eight ninety nine. Yeah, I agree. With, I agree with. with I agree with free with shipping what? still, even <laughs> that. Yes, point. yes, Jay, with free with free shipping. shipping. Yes, Bill, yes, with free shipping. Bill, what's your what's your price point? I'm gonna say we're, I'm saying we're gonna be somewhere between a thousand and twelve hundred. Okay. Okay. What what did we say for the pinball? Are we in agreement that it's gonna be like fourteen ninety nine? It, yeah, it's gotta be. It's gonna be fifteen. Twelve. Yeah. 12 it's, to- 12 to 14. 12 to 14? I think, I think like, yeah. yeah, well, I was going to say 11.99 would make. Okay. Now, remember feasible. the back box, the back box is is a bigger screen. I think it was, I want to say it was 20 inch, but it's 23. Like, it's also 23. like, 20. look, if you're paying $1,500 for that, you could literally get a real pinball machine for $1,500. I I get it. <laughs> Confirm. P-Dubs goes sell three one-ups and it's paid for. Um. <laughs> No, I mean, listen, I I get it, but you also got to look at what everything's here. With the prices of everything boop, going boop. up, you you got to know it's going to go up. Just boop, like boop. I think when it's the ALU hot. came out, I think we, I think we paid it was four ninety nine when it first came out. Yeah, when it first yeah. came out, version one, version one. My new yeah, one point, my one point two, I paid one hundred eighty nine dollars for it, brand new at Sam's. Nice. Price price match. Yep. So I don't plan on getting a new ALU. I I'm sticking with this one at least for right now. Oh, no, no, I'm serious because for 189. Now the pinball, I might I might go the route. One of, the of new us one. has to get it, Stephen. It's gonna. Have well, it's to gonna be, be you. Um, no. you. You're you're Jade Big Bucks. Hashtag Jade Big Bucks. Um. <laughs> so that was the other thing. The big UI change. I'm I'm not a fan of the UI. Will it, is it better than what we have? Yes, um, but I, I think they really need to reevaluate that. But what I a, think look, they're giving you the option though to have the upgraded PCB, which I think is a nice affordable yeah. option mm-hmm. for people who don't want to pay that much for the entire. Is it affordable? Cab. They're only giving now, you even if you take away bucks. the the four K part. But even if you take out the four K part of it then it's not a big deal. But they're giving you something for what you're sending back to them. So. I'm keeping it for 25 bucks in case something happens to mine. I'm keeping it. Um, sure, yes. Yeah. For the ALU, it's 350 or 349.99. For the ALP, I think it's 400 or 399. Yeah. It is 399. Um, Thanks, Carl. I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm I, Listen. Are you going to buy this board just for a little bit better performance on your on your system? I am not personally, but I think it's a good option for people who want to push out some 3D games on theirs. But if the screen can't handle it, what's the point? Well, right. the screen, but the screen resolution isn't totally. I'm talking set refresh to 4K. rate. I'm talking refresh rate and everything. Well, it can do 60 mm. hertz. That's more than enough. Maybe 60 is playable, but it's not ideal. Anybody? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, what, no, what can the, what I'm, can with, the I'm with Moat. Listen, I'm with Moat on this one. What are the one. scientific stats on the human eye? Let's talk science here. I'm no, pretty boy. sure it's the just, human eye it's can't the, see past like 60 Moat, no, tell her. It's the second. feel. You're not, but it's the yeah, feel. It's, it's of a it. feeling thing. It's, yeah, it, it you really can, is. You can definitely tell the difference between a game that's but, running in. But if you're playing retro games, like if you're playing like retro games, like why does it matter? If you're playing like Street Fighter 6, then like, okay, but that thing ain't going to play Street Fighter 6. Right, but Jade, anybody who's buying this is clearly not doing this for retro games. Like for me, 
it's mm. nice to see the upgrades, but the upgrade makes more sense for the pinball than it does for the ALU, honestly. You know what I mean? Because the board upgraded, so we're going to be able to play, what, maybe Model 2, Model, Model 3 games, or whatever else. I think <laughs> okay. the best way to look at it is if the, if the Coin Ops team can get, like, I don't know, Trilogy running on this board, I think this board's probably going to run Dreamcast. If it can run Sega Saturn, yeah. it can pretty much run mm-hmm. anything. Yep. So, Dream, mm-hmm. Dreamcast and PlayStation, I would, right. I would think. So Arcade 1-Up doesn't have to speed up Marvel vs. Capcom 2 because the human eye can't see any of the stuff that it's sluggish on. So Jade just said it. <laughs> Okay, so Arcade One Up, if you're listening, just stop any any works oh, boy. because she's an angry marine. Hashtag angry marine. Um, we don't need to do that. The tech buzz is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's a, it oh, is an option. Boy. So if you guys, from my understanding, now they haven't they have it says ALU one hundred to be determined. Now if you have an ALU frame and you want to upgrade to the new now that i could see instead of going out and buying a whole new frame because you got custom artwork on it um you could buy this that would be that would be worth it for 300 uh 350 dollars if you have the al you want as long as it's compatible you know what we're doing with this steven we're listening you yell at me well that and okay Play the clip. Play it. Um, yes. So Jade has a clip for her for her ALU. So let's go to that right now. We're gonna play Jade's clip right after this. Ad games news and notes. What is up, fam, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I went from this to this. First things first, my personal preference is that I very much dislike the stock side art on the ALU. So I decided to try Tempest artwork and it just looked too busy. It was cool, but it looked too busy on those small side panels. I started thinking to myself, what would be simple but also give it a cool retro aesthetic and so i started searching on amazon and lo and behold i found this an inexpensive wood grain vinyl wrap this is the proper width 24 inches that you're going to want to get for an alu it's a simple application process you just clean your surface wipe everything off with a microfiber towel and lay it down flat from one side to the other, rubbing it flat as you go. I also ended up applying the Tempest control panel artwork and doing a couple different colored buttons for the retro aesthetic as well. I know wood grain is not for everyone, but this is definitely like an accent piece in my game room, and I really like the way that it turned out and contrasts all together. I hope you guys found this to be helpful or inspirational. I appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys then. And welcome back, everybody. So, what, 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 so what, what, what are you trying to say by that video there? Are you, are, are you uh, insinuating something here? I'm just saying we've, I think we've all, like, we've finished off the week, you know, beating at games to death. I feel like I just kind of like put the trophy on top of it, you know? <laughs> well, I don't know I if you put the trophy the, on top of it, the, but the I final mean, beating. We're not going to get into it. There's a ton of deals. You guys can go check it out. Um, this is it's one been, of their it's better been a nods. Good week for at games. It's been a good week for them. It's probably one yeah. of their best nods. I mean, Moat, would you agree? I mean, it's from from what you've seen of of yeah. National Owners Day. This has got to be the best. Absolutely. How long have you had yours for Moat? Your at games? Oh man, like almost two years now. I think 
it, it's been a so while. So is is it the is it the one point? What, the one wait, point, is it the first? One no, one. no, the, no. That's one point one. Yeah, it's the one point one. Okay, yeah, so you, I think you and me have the same one. I think. Yeah, yeah. Mine has a nice little deck. On she, it. She's jelly because because mine has tea molding and hers doesn't. Yeah, she, that's tea all tea I molding. heard. She's like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? You have tea molding? She goes, I gotta check mine. Um. Yeah, I mean, you guys gotta check it out. I, I, I think. Oh, that that video. Uh, sorry, that but that video that you guys just saw is going to be on my channel. If you guys want to watch it and get that information, it'll just be on my channel as soon as this is over at seven thirty. So. Oh, I, I thought you were going to talk about it was a video of you just uh, playing people getting beat up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I, I did listen. I thought that she's like, yo, listen, look, look here, here, here are these people poking the bear at that games, and I thought that's what you meant, but no, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Look at, look at, Moat's even getting his shots in at you. Look at this. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he had your backup but, uh, until that point. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she knows we're good. She knows we're good. No, we're well, all best. It's because Moat loves me. Right, exactly. <laughs> But um, honestly, this is their best not National Honor's Day. And shout out to them for not putting it on Valentine's Day. Yes. And, and ruining people's relationships. Yeah. With them <laughs> to so, you mean all, you didn't want to have the competitions on Valentine's Day where you had to be glued to your arcade and your significant listen, other? Is gonna... Listen, I wouldn't have been, but there would have been some other individuals who would have sat there and, and maybe chosen the product over. <laughs> no, that but was. But I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> Well, either way, I think you guys should check the deals out that are coming up. I know Glenn's Retro Show, he's doing 30% off of his... his. Mm -hmm. Now, he Bill, you did get the check from him, so we can continue on with this. He, we, he did clear... We did we're get we're that still clear. under contract, yes. Okay, okay. so we're still yeah. under NDA with that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, he's doing 30% off all his Thunderstick products with um, Glenn's, Glenn's uh, Build-A-Cade. You can get 30% off if you haven't gotten it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, any of any of his thundersticks, his his uh, Star Wars yoke, I forget what else that he has. The spinner, I actually have the spinner coming mm. for my Tron. So, uh, you guys check it out. Thirty percent off. There's other companies doing some deals. So, not deal is always fun. And before we go any further, now it's time for me to be a content creator shill. And it's great that we're here with Mister Shill and Chill. So, or is it Chill and Chill? How how do you do? No, you say, no, you, you Did I right. say it right? Okay, Mister Chill and Chill himself. So this September in Cleveland, Ohio, they have the Cleveland Gaming Classic. I will be attending that. I'll be live streaming that. I'm going to be partnering with At Games. They're going to sponsor the event along with Cleveland Classic Games. They want to bring me in to live stream this event. We want to do a meetup. At Games wants to give away prizes. That's the only thing that I'm really getting out of the deal. I'm like, I'm trying to get you guys. Some prizes. Like, who's going to be there? Let me know if you're going to be there. Send me a DM on Twitter. It's in Cleveland, Ohio. You can look it up. Cleveland Games or Game in Cleveland. I forget what the website is. Dot com. Um, we want to give stuff away. Game packs, arcades, pinballs, maybe even the new stuff. Maybe I can get them to get the new stuff. But that's that's something I wanted to do. I'm going to be there anyways. I want to bring a, um, my producer who does my remote stuff with me. I, I've worked with him for years. He's going to produce there. We're going to have five or six cameras on the floor with a TriCaster that we're going to switch. So you're going to get this type of quality from the floor, from the At Games booth, from whatever's going on. We're going to have roaming camera. We're going to walk the floor, see all the booths. It's going to be awesome. So uh, that's what I'm going to do on that port. Um, so being completely transparent, the, the Cleveland Gaming Classic, they're just putting me up. I, all I did was ask to get into the convention and put me up in a hotel room with my team, and that's it. We're not getting paid. We're doing this completely for you guys, the community that can't be there if you live across the country. But if you're going to be there, let me know so we can get some prizes and stuff going. We want to get you guys. Um, I know iArcade's going to be there and at games. I don't know if Arcade 1-Up is going to be there. Maybe John will decide to send a team. But I'm going to have a team of five there that we're going to be bringing you content that whole weekend so that's in september i'll have more information as we go so that was my shill for the day which i never do that but i figured i'd put that out there Merry I, Christmas. I, didn't think that, I, I didn't think that was too shilly i just thought it was a uh, self-promotion and, and self -promotion? okay yeah, self -promotion, yeah. <laughs> it, it was a self shill it was a self shill, self -shill? Self -shill? right 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 <laughs> yeah. 
because I, I don't I don't do that you know kind of stuff. <laughs> Look at MG. What hotel? This guy this guy's got me up on <laughs> Google Earth and everything like that. You you got to go back a little in the chat. He offered you a ride. Oh, oh okay. You could you could, <laughs> you got to haul. You got to be my roadie. You got to haul some gear. Um, Bill, talk to us about what PlayStation announced today. Or yeah, it was today. Um, it was recently because I think it started officially yesterday, February fifteenth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that was one of the things. Yeah. Yeah. Festival of play for those, mostly for people who are on at least some PlayStation level of PlayStation Plus. I don't think you have to be on all three, like the highest level for it. But if you have some kind of, uh, you know, subscription to PlayStation Plus, they have um, discounts going on for the next week. They announced a bunch of new games that are going to be coming to the, the PlayStation Plus platform, including Horizon Forbidden West, which I'm kind of psyched to check out. That's a great game. I yeah, have it. I'm kinda, it's a great game. I'm psyched to check that out. They got a trial going for God of War Ragnarok, another game I want to check out. Um, they're giving away a Sony TV at some point. So there's just a bunch of different stuff going on. Like I said, some of it is for PlayStation Plus, and there's some of it... Like I think the like the TV giveaway you can get in on whether you're subscribed or not, but uh, yeah, they just got a couple of cool things going on over there. I think it it started the 15th and it goes through the 24th. And it looks like there's also um, Outriders, Scarlet Nexus, Borderlands 3, and Tekken 7 for all you fighting game nerds yep. out there. Those are going to be added to the uh, to the subscription service. Um, this game, there was a couple of PS, there were a couple of PS1 games. Uh, that I thought were pretty cool. Legend of Dragoon and Wild Arms are like some great Did, old RPG. Ooh, wild Arms. Ooh. I have Wild uh, Arms. Yeah. One, Did any of two, you guys play XF. this game? The Quarry? No, uh, I have not tried it uh, yet. I wasn't interested. Dude, what, 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 this what? is a great game if you play it with people because it's it's not a game that you you play. It's 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 based off of the decisions that you make. Mm-hmm. It's one of those games where you walk. There's a little bit of walking around and looking for stuff, but there's 140 different endings you can get with this, and it's all based on the decisions that you make. It is, it's, it's a jump scare type game, but it wasn't yeah. bad. I played it with some friends, and we beat it in like eight hours, but it took multiple days because we didn't play it all at once. But it's a fun game if you haven't, if you haven't done it. The guys over at Geek Game, uh, uh, Jordan and them, I'm trying to think, what is it, Geek? Uh, Help me out, guys. Geek Gamer TV was it? Oh, Geek, Geek TV. Yeah, Geek, Geek yeah. TV. The Geek, Geek, Geek. Uh, co- yeah, they did it. They actually played it in a quarry. <laughs> they played the quarry in a quarry at night. They brought a projector. That's a oh, little that's bit. That's cool. going a little bit. Uh, no, that that's fun. Resident Evil's yeah. um, Biohazard. Yeah. I was content. a big I was a big fan of the first game they did Until Dawn. Yes. Uh, my daughter and I both love that game. So. With this going on the service, I may take a shot at the quarry and see if she and I can play it together. It is. It, it's not really like, don't think of it as play. It asks you questions. There's a lot of dialogue. Mm-hmm. And it's, I mean, it's a great game. And then we'd say, okay, what do we want to do? And mm-hmm. it, it's like, if I, I like if, games like that. I mean, like the is. last Resident Evil, I like just played the crap out of. But I heard the quarry was good. I just never got around to playing it. I, I will eventually. So, I mean, it looks like if if you have the opportunity and you want to get on this uh, PlayStation Plus catalog, I mean, now's the time to get on it. I I, I prefer again. I'm I'm back to physical. I don't, you know. Mo, what about you? Do you collect anything? So uh, it, it depends. I've gotten back into uh, collecting NES, like everything else. I'm I'm trying to consolidate a lot of stuff, you know, because you know we we really don't have room and we're running out of stuff. But um. I guess the physical media now, not so much, but, you know, past stuff like NES. Like, I literally just went earlier today and grabbed a, a bunch of NES stuff. So, <laughs> but anything that I can get digital, I'll just get it digital because it's more convenient okay. that way. Mm-hmm. In 20 years, you know, the discs are supposed to be freaking broken and everything else anyway. So, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, collecting is cool. You just have to have the space for it. You have the space. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and as an individual who's in this office right now whose closet's filled with, like, <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna slow down a little bit i don't know i think i think michael b's got you beat though he's like the poor guy every time he does a youtube video you see him he's sitting by his arcade like this he's like guys i got a great video for you here instead of (laughs) before he used to be like guys 
It's I'm like, gonna do it. It's like a like Akira, you know. Like yeah. And the end of Akira, it's Michael B. Michael B. <laughs> uh, so let's talk really briefly. Let's talk a little bit about this too. Zen Studios they released the Pinball FX out now on Xbox, PlayStation, um, and leaves early access on the Epic Games Store, but no Steam on the PC yet. No. Hmm. And no Switch, I don't think. And no Switch. Yeah, this is just Xbox and PlayStation. Has anybody downloaded this yet and tried it or anybody care to do it unless it's... I, I saw somebody in the chat room said, is there a, a cabinet code for this if you play it on a console? I'm kind of with them. I want to play it on a, a table. I don't want to play pinball with a controller. Right. Yeah. yeah. So... Anybody in the chat room, have you tried it? Is it, I mean, I saw Michael B. did a little bit of gameplay with it, the Adams family. Um, but if it's not on PC, you can't even hook it to your app games. So you're kind of stuck playing with a, with a controller. I did see the PSVR got, um, like, uh, it was really getting praised on some of the reviews that I saw for it. But it's 650 bucks. Oh, yeah, it's way too expensive. But For a wired VR. That's where I have the problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that that jumps out at me. Um, but they said it. But from what I've seen, people are saying that it's a a really a step ahead as far as like the experience. I would like to see it compared to an Oculus. So that's what I'm waiting for YouTube videos to come out because I like my mm-hmm. I like my Oculus, mm-hmm. my Meta. Me too. I got the Meta version. Mm-hmm. I I really I think like. I, that. I think I have. A- first or second gen oculus but i like it i mean it's it's really cool like it's good enough to where i forget i'm wearing it and like i'll try and scratch my face and be like clunk do you have no. do you have the playstation <laughs> vr1 no I no, no i only i only have oculus well the reason i ask is because the playstation vr1 PC. if i keep it on for 10 minutes it makes me sick oh if i yeah, the, the oculus, oculus i can I wear for hours and i have no issues so I wonder if the PSVR is the VR two is going to be is going to well, be well. It's got a better screen on it. The PSVR one has a a lesser screen on it. It's a it's a little blurry, so I think that's why it probably does that. But the new the new one supposedly has a a better. All right, I'm going to say it. Crisper screen. <laughs> He's crispy. He stole well, it. It's, well, you, what do you mean? Oh, that was the other shirt. My, my that what was, was the other the shirt. Other shirt. Crispy. What was? Crisp, oh, yeah. oh, the crisp. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So crispy hashtag embrace the jank and of course, <laughs> you know she I'm telling you, you should just 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 make it, just put it out. People will yeah. buy it. Literally, just put it out. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna do it. It's coming. One other major thing I don't know. You guys have probably been seeing a lot of videos popping up recently. Is the new wave toys? They've been sending out cabinets here to the re- viewers Ooh. here. We've got Dragon's Lair, and then it was like a couple days later, they surprised us with Food Fight. And you guys can see I have mine hooked up with HDMI, so you can kind of see the screen. It really is. a be- Like, they did, s- it's just amazing, like, the detail and everything on the outside of it alone. Um, I really like it. Keep talking about it, and I'll turn it. Yeah. Um, and the screen, like, I don't get like, so the, the screen, I wasn't completely sure about. I have to like look that up again, but it does have that, um, you know, that kind of CRT look to it, but it looks clearer than the missile command one. Um, but the, the detail and the level of the artwork every, and everything is, is pretty much supposed to be like to the T for the um, original arcade cab that came out that was done by um, Atari and and I have this game so it's crazy I never actually played this game um, at the arcade but I had it on Atari and I played the living crap out of it on my Atari 800 and and just loved it so I didn't know it was an arcade game until way later which is crazy that I never saw one because I saw a lot of arcades yeah, this wasn't one that I had like huge nostalgia for or remembered, but uh, it definitely looks pretty cool. Mine came in today. It's sitting in the box. I have not op- had a chance to open it yet, but um, I'll probably be getting into it this weekend and checking mm-hmm. it out. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, you know, I wasn't a big fan of that CRT filter on the uh, Missile Command. It just it was way too reflective. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious to see if it's any better 
on this one. I, I think it's I, a, like, I think it's a great idea in theory. I just don't think it's that great in practice. Well, I like how it magnifies the picture. Like that was the one thing that I liked about it. I didn't I it didn't bother me as much as I know like you and and some other people have mentioned kind of the same thing. But I like how it magnified the screen and that's what I feel like the one on here does. It just doesn't look as um I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it just looks better, basically. Did you notice? It's crisp. <laughs> it's crisp. crisp. Did you notice they put the even the fake lock on the back of the cabinet to mm -hmm. make it look like it was it was locked shut? Um, it, some of these, some of the detail on it. It's got the analog stick on it, mm -hmm. which the other ones don't have that. And it has a banana. You didn't put the banana stick on it. Though. I didn't put the banana. You know, <laughs> I have it. I have it all sitting right here. Um, and and the wads of gum. You need to put the wads of gum. I have on it, it too. like. Like right here, I have the yeah. the banana <laughs> stick so here. Cool. Great. And the but I I didn't put any of that stuff on. Um, Jade, you have to put the wads of gum on it so it'll match your dragon, uh, your uh, Donkey Kong cab. <laughs> oh right, right. I'm, I'm like the top of it, yeah. Um, dude, you know what though? Their Dragon Slayer Overhaul Edition and then the food fight. I mean, like every cab that they're doing is progressively getting better and i'm like i'm literally i'm so cheap i'm like oh, these are so good like you know i could just substitute this for you know having the urge to get like the full size version of this <laughs> um but they're just they're really they do like just such a beautiful job like the level of detail and everything like it's just, just really cool so you're gonna see at least three more reviews <laughs> of these cabinets over the next few days so we're just we're just warning you so mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um they're they're yeah, coming. coming, but they are they're great. I I have them set up in the front. I'm probably gonna get a little piece of carpet to stick down, and I'm gonna use uh, some of my WWE action figures as little guys to play the arcades there. I'm gonna which one? Um, well, I gotta put DX there. Don't and say then, the wrong answer. And then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the Miz <laughs> playing one of them, and I'm gonna have Sean super kicking him off of it. Nice. So I'm gonna do something <laughs> like I'll I'll take a picture of it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some we're gonna, I'm gonna do some fun stuff with that as well but jade before uh as we wrap up the show here we got about 10 minutes left what you wanted to discuss or i think i think it was you about collecting habits right yeah i just think it's um it's interesting because everybody like has different collecting habits that kind of meet their needs you know and mike was talking about it earlier like you know it's it's basically for him gotten to the point where he has to like limit the physical collecting that he does. And so it's kind of more convenient just to get digital at this point. And, you and know, it I can really stop. Sorry. It right. Doesn't, it doesn't stop. Like literally freaking literally today, like no BS. It doesn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It doesn't stop. Yeah, no. And, and I totally get it. And so that's like one of the things that, um, for me, it's like with arcade cabinets, you know, and, um, moving like arcade cabinets around or deciding whether or not you're going to keep you know one or sell it and um you know with some of the some of the cabinets that one up has come up or uh, come out with in the past um you know i i wanted to see if it was going to be worth keeping for me um and you know i think it takes time to like make that decision uh, and, and decide whether or not it's going to hold a permanent spot in your collection because these things are obviously bigger in size. And it's the same thing with full-size cabs for me now. And I know Steven's going to give me crap for this, but, um, you know, I have to, like, really choose and pick even more as my collection gets <laughs> finer and tighter. Um, but it's like, you know, getting rid of the arcade because it just didn't do anything that the at games, Somebody's going to clip that, and they're going to be mad at you. So. <laughs> but it just i mean the, the point was like i didn't hate the irk like there was n nothing wrong with it um i just think that the at games is like a way better choice for me i'm not going to have you know an irk and at games when i have also a full-size multi-cade so the the whole point of the at games is the control deck you know i think if Arcade would have initially had a control deck that was as cool as the at games one i, I might have been more inclined to keep it um but that wasn't the case. So, but it it, work, it all works out fine anyways. So I feel like over time as a collector, for me personally, part of my collecting habits is kind of like, um, you know, cycling through things and refining things. Um, 
as you move along and figuring out what's going to hold like a permanent spot in your collection. They're all going. Ask my wife. She'll tell you. No, I'm just kidding. She always says, <laughs> what are you going to do with these? You, you buy these new cabinets, where are you going to put them? So with recycling them, I actually took my old act games when I gave it to the kids' church. They love it. They play Marvel vs. Capcom on it, the first one, and they play Mortal Kombat all the time on you know Sundays before before the church starts. And then I also took my Galaga cabinet, which that's was what the OG. You play right before church, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so Galaga, I took that one that has the that's the original, and then I replaced that with the Dig Dug cabinet. So I swapped out two games for twelve. So eventually, I'm going to start swapping out some of the uh, the OG games. Where I'm at, it's a pain in the butt to sell these. I don't know how it is for you guys, but it's a pain to sell them around here. So for me, I'd just rather, I got my, my worth out of them. I'd just rather donate them and then buy the the newer versions if I can. It It's just, it's too much of a hassle. Nobody wants to buy these or they want, they want you to sell them for like 50 bucks, but they'll turn around right. and sell them for like 500. Well, mm-hmm. here's here's the reality of the situation. Most of the places you can get these retail, you can finance them, which is easier for people to do. OK, mm-hmm. when you're selling them second hand and you're asking for, you know, even half the value of it or half of what you paid for it. Um, you know, they're still like, oh, well, that's three or four hundred bucks out of my pocket. You know, people want like a, they they don't want to pay more than like two hundred bucks for a second hand you know, arcade one up. And and I don't exactly blame them when you're circumstantially, when you're looking at the way things are anyways. So, yeah, I mean, I know the market out here has gotten like really crappy in a sense. Um, cause people just don't want to pay, you know, $550 cash or 600 bucks cash for something like that. You know, even people are offloading their arcade machines. You sell yours economy. quick though. Yours gets sold like within 24 hours, man. You use, well, they were, you know, but I've got, um, let's see, I have a couple up that have just kind of been sitting. So I can't even give away my arcade. Nobody wants it. Yeah. My, actually my arcade, I actually did okay on. I did you I really? Like older. I've had my arcade up for probably five weeks now because I was going to replace yeah, it with is killer it a double Instinct. dragon. IRK. No, it's just the basic orange, and I, I oh, just... well, well, it's IRK. Nobody wants to buy that. That's what I'm that's saying. Like, like... <laughs> unfortunately, and no, that's no, that's not a dig. It's being honest. Like nobody knows average, what it is. If you, if, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> if you put it on Facebook yeah. Marketplace, or whatever. The only way you can really kind of advertise it, you have to put like as seen on the Price Is Right or something like that. You know, because mm-hmm. people don't know what it is. There's nothing <laughs> that like. No, see, I usually I'm put serious. I usually like, put like a link I usually put like a link to the website or something so people have yeah. a reference because I'll get mm. questions all the time like what games are on it I'm like what listen like, don't yeah. ask me don't ask me those questions this if is gonna sound it, funny like, no you mm. know your business but I put it on Facebook marketplace and somebody local saw it and they're like why would I want to buy the arcade when I hear you talk smack about it every single show that you do you always put it down <laughs> and you're trying to sell it to me uh, that was kind of like a. I had that one, happen to me once before with with something I was oh the links I was trying to buy from somebody locally. They tuned into the show and they're like, "Well, now I'm going to up the price because you said it was worth <laughs> it was worth a lot more." Uh, and so you know, so I'm just going to say, be careful when you say stuff about selling it because those people yeah. you don't know who's watching, you don't know who's Church listening. Churchality. Yeah, these guys. These guys are like in there, going like throwing holy water, oh churchality. Um, it's not, it's not a bad. Platform. It's not a bad platform, and considering what you get in the package, it's actually pretty good. It's just, I just have no use. It doesn't get played. Right. That's my big right. thing. Retromania yeah. wrestling is the only one that we play on that, and Beach Buggy Racings. Yep. Um, that that's right. honestly that's what we play. It's right. it's Jade's favorite game, but she couldn't. She couldn't. Um, <laughs> she couldn't sit on the system for that. So I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's just. Is it heavily? I, I just soiled? I just think the ALU is better, for what you. It, get it is and overall. And and I'm get. not going to buy Space Invaders a hundred times. I'm not going to buy these other games that I already have. The, you know, the console. I already have Dragon's Lair on the ALU. I don't need it on the Arcade too. Um, I I. You know, that's just where I'm at with it. So I don't know. Yeah, I did Brooklyn. But, Menace. but trying new things, if you're collecting, <laughs> look, if you're collecting, 
here here's what I think like even even as as youtubers like dude you're gonna try different things you're gonna show people what your experience is like right if you decide like later on you don't like it because you discover something else that you like better who cares like yeah. you know that's that's like your collection or collecting preferences and I just don't like I, I think that you know, everybody is kind of like, unless you live in like a huge mansion or like the Playboy mansion that you can just have that's, whatever you want, wherever you want. That's the only reason I'm keeping it. Um, but I did want to show it's, you guys, since Jade's been talking smack all night on me, <clears throat> I want to show you guys something. I'm going to oh, get up. Geez. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So oh, I'm getting hung up here on my wire. Hang on. I get my camera here to follow me here. So check out this new shirt I got. Is that a bowling shirt? Oh boy! Yeah, that's kind of smooth. That's smooth. You like that? Wait, wait, wait! Oh, Nintendo. Yeah, that it's is cool. nice. That is. Is that like nice. an old school? Like, is that some sort of old school Nintendo shirt? It, it looks cool. So yeah, I I found it. I <laughs> I found you it on found Facebook. It? Is that your way of saying Nintendo? No, it was it was a ta Taiwanese company that was selling it for yeah. like twenty bucks, and I'm sitting there going, I'm never gonna get this thing. Oh, is that what you call? I got it in ten days. I got it. Now? I got it in ten days. Well, because like a lot of those stores on there, they scam me out of your money. <laughs> so I always pay it with PayPal, so I get my money back. Uh, but this is actually <laughs> really comfortable. It's really lightweight. Like I, I was, it's got it the, uh, really cool. it, it's got the Nintendo buttons here. You know, what? just just say what we all want to hear you say. Say thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shilling for Nintendo, baby. I love. I love it. Though. That's a great shirt. So I yeah I didn't know if I was gonna wear it tonight so I was like okay I'm gonna put it on I have to show you guys this it's pretty yeah it's a Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen special. <laughs> <laughs> it does have bowling shirt vibes it I'm okay with that's that though. Awesome, but that's awesome though like back in the day yeah. a lot of us used to wear shirts that had that exact same vibe and anybody who lies yeah. and says that they didn't have that one button up shirt that used to be sold at Hot Topic with a different kind of uh. animated <laughs> hair or something on it you are a liar look at this clown here look what he <laughs> look what he writes here. <laughs> if tech wore that shirt to the club the ladies would be buzzing dad joe this guy here that's everybody's such a, that's, such a, that's such an easy opener though you can literally be like hey hey um you want to push my buttons <laughs> <laughs> no i would walk up to him and be like do you know the konami code you could try it on me <laughs> yeah except they, they just need to make some nintendo pants for that one. Ooh, with the <laughs> the ness that, advantage that, yeah. Uh, oh, that way mm. down a really. <laughs> is it like you know a goofy foot? God, I don't want to find it. Come on, I'm a marine. Just give me a break. It reminds me, guys, of the fabric. If you want to really think about the fabric, back in the '90s, they made those. I flame... didn't mean thank me for my service. I just meant that we have a really dirty sense of humor. So. I got you. <laughs> they made those flame shirts, and they made like the Dragon Ball Z shirts and stuff. That you remember oh, those yeah. moat that you could yep. get? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, this yeah, is the same, means, yep. the same fabric that that is made of. That's the best way I can explain it. Um. They were lightweight, right? I mean, we wore them yeah. Dragon Ball Z ones back in the nineties, man. I, I had Trunks, Goku and, and, and Gohan. I had I, I had them. Those shirts. Yep. yep. <laughs> I had those and I had the flame shirts. I had one that was like white, but it had blue flames All coming flames up, almost like yeah, the oh, uh, yeah. Lincoln Park. Uh, a Chester had on his tattoos on his sleeve. It was like the ta uh, the flames that went up. That's kind of how the shirt went. So, but they were super comfortable. So, I was like, well, where am I going to wear this shirt? And I was like. Not wear it on the show so everybody can make fun of me. That's fine. I'm cool with it. It's oh, all Chester. good. It's all good. Yeah, but it's not like that anymore. Now it's like cool. We're all like, ooh, cool shirt, Stephen. Where's my? <laughs> I know. My daughter's like, ew, you're actually going to wear that? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, online? I was like, yeah. She's like, people are going to think it's like disgusting. I'm like, uh, no, we're all nerds. Not, like, not, in this, <laughs> not in this community. Like, well, like, right, right. I don't know what Jay's wearing, but like, listen, Bill's got on a, a Spider-Man a Spider Man shirt. You've got on an NES shirt. I'm sitting here with Darkwing Duck on my chest. Yes. Like, listen, you know, you know, you know, yes. So yeah, normally, I, normally I would have a cool shirt the best on. Disney but... show ever made, except for maybe Gargoyles. Yes. Absolutely. Wait, wait, Absolutely. wait. Jade's running around there with cat ears. At least 
that's taken a little <laughs> yeah. bit further, right? No, normally, I would have on like my cover me pork and shirt or something, but it's literally freezing <laughs> in my house because it costs eight hundred dollars to run my heater for one hour. So, <laughs> all right. Well, let's wrap up, Mister Moot. Tell everybody where they can find you and what's going on. What kind of content you got coming out this show week so yourself. people can, yeah, shill it, oh, man. Shill it. Shill it. You're shilling. Well, 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 yeah, I'll do say, it. <clears throat> well, well, I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> first of all, I'd like to thank you all for, for being here. If you haven't hit the like button on this stream, make sure that you hit the like button because it helps the channel grow. Um, as far as what I'm doing, I have a, I have a, plethora of reviews i actually need to do and i and listen i see y'all comments everybody's like oh you didn't review this you didn't review that believe me i know it is a busy <laughs> time okay i got you um but honestly besides the main channel michael wall trades um i have this channel called mo plays where we do a lot of fight we do a lot of stuff on these arcade one-up cabinets if you've got marvelous capcom or killer instinct or big blue or yoga flame or shinku friday nights i got next myself and um welcome to die we also show a lot of community. It's a community based show. Corner K got smacked in the face last Friday, so that was great. Um, <laughs> and, oh! hang out, you know, and, and literally we run tournaments. We do all kinds of shenanigans. I think this Sunday we're doing uh, MetaQuest and Steam VR among us and stuff. It's just it's just all kinds of random stuff. But on the main channel, you know, Tuesdays chill and chill. If there's something to really talk about, um, opinion pieces. Random uh, retro unboxing stuff. I have stuff on my floor that if y'all saw my floor right now, you'd be like, dude, how do you walk? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, but but thank you guys for having hey, me if on. You scroll, if you scroll all the way down, Steven, there's so no, 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 Listen, that stuff was buried in the annals of time. Nobody needs to know about that. Let's just leave it there. But it is, Mike. I seriously, it's so great. Wait, what are you talking about? The shorts? No, 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 no. I know what she's talking about, and we're going to leave that in the past. It doesn't exist. We're not talking about it. Let it go. Because what she wants you to do is she wants you to go into the Wayback Machine, and she wants you to go all the way to how this channel started, and we don't need to dig that up. It's completely fine. Okay. Just leave it alone. And, and, and let's, let's move on. But, okay, after, the show, after the show. No, it was great. It was Maybe. great having you on here. I think we had a, we had a ton of fun here. So, yes. guys, if you haven't, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't subscribed to your Moat Plays one. I didn't even really. Yeah, I, nobody I knows. So, to your so, 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 so I don't. I don't promote that channel because I'd like it to grow organically. Because I don't want everybody to be like, "Hey, I come over, like, yo, that's great," and I appreciate that. But it's one of those things with, especially with all the. Um, but I did. I subscribe now. Well, I appreciate that. But with all the allegations of people doing this and that, whatever, listen, we just, it's a fun vibe. It's great. We just get to hang out and whatever else. Jay it's, still it's owes wholesome. Me, she still owes me a match against UAG. I mean, but, you know, <laughs> like, like, no, 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 no. UAG, UAG owes you a match against. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Are we talking oh, UAG oh, now? Wait oh. a second. Are we talking UAG? You can't do anything oh, with boy. that guy. That guy's a Giants fan. I mean, come on. Do I need to even say any more than that? Yeah, which is which is funny because the uh, stream, um, the stream Monday is for this league that I was running, and it and it culminates Monday, and the bet is the loser has to wear the other person's team, and he has to wear Eagles hat because I believe in Roger winning. But if I oh, lose, I have to wear a giant, and I hate the Giants. Well, so. are you wait? Are you playing it on? Um, are you playing on Blitz? No, 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 no. So it's a twelve game gauntlet of games that were or sixteen game gauntlet that were played over the season. <clears throat> Uh, the two competitors versus nine. Again, it's just going to be a lot of first to fives, a lot of random stuff, just a lot of fun and stuff. If you want something outside of the home arcade space, you guys want to just hang back, relate, see some goofy stuff, like maybe see Bucky O'Hare being played one day or Donkey Kong or whatever, mm -hmm. go check out that channel. That, that's, okay. That's so, 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 Moda, real quick, nice. though, did you did you hear about that kid that, that was in court the one day because he, he, was, he, was, he was getting beat all the time? Did you hear about that kid? No, I didn't. So what happened was the judge had asked him, he says, well, do you want to live with your mom? He says, no, she beats me. She, he goes, well, do you want to live with your dad? And she goes, no, he beats me too. And he says, well, son, who do you want to go live with? He says, well, I want to go live with the New York Giants. They don't beat anybody. <laughs> oh. So, oh, that's great. That's, that's for great. you, UAG. Um, uh, that's me and him go back and forth. We think, so it's all good. There's no hate. He does it to me. I go back at him. So, because I'm a Cowboys fan, God. you're you're you're, so you're lucky I'm not a football fan. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a New York, I'm a New York. Oh, look at Bill, Bill's but fired up. Now. I'm not a football. <laughs> you can pick any team that's, that's not the honest, Giants yeah. or the Jets, and you'll be okay. Go with Buffalo. You'll you'll be there. Good. You go. There you go. Jade, what do we got from you this week besides <laughs> the video that is launching right now? Um, 
yeah so the video that's launching right now or that <clears throat> just launched um and then tomorrow we have a uh, part one of a pretty big uh exciting interview with the controversial persona john d oh um, i thought you were gonna say me i was like well geez <sighs> I didn't think the shirt and, was that uh, bad. I don't think, let's see, I feel like I put out another video like within the last three days or something, but it's just been like the whole week and a half has been a blur for me. So anyways, but new stuff and uh, should be interesting. Awesome. Guys, make sure you check it out. And Mr. Bill, what do you got going on? Uh, Well, for sure, I'm going to do that food fight uh, review. That's coming up uh, definitely. But uh yeah, it's going to be an interesting week coming up. I actually have some some free time this week. I'm going to have a little bit of a an empty house because half the people in it are going on vacation. So it actually frees me up for some time <laughs> to work on some content. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get a few things worked on this week. I'm not sure what yet, but I know I'll come up with something. Awesome. And and like these guys, I put uh, believe it or not, I'm going to start trying to put some videos out. I'm going to really put some I'm, gonna, I'm I'm giving myself a goal of two a week I'm going to try my darndest um even if they're you know one's like a, a broadcasting or a video tip that I can put in there as well as I I just did the review for the Dragon's Lair I got the one for Food Fight and I've got a few other things here um the wireless lobs that you just saw in that in that uh other video I did pay for them but I'm still going to review them anyways so if you're looking for a microphone and you're doing YouTube, you don't want to have a microphone like this in front of you and you got a budget about three hundred and twenty nine dollars, it's a great option for you. So we're gonna we're gonna review that. And we've got a few surprises here that we're gonna be uh we're gonna be running. So don't leave until everything is done here. So everything. 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 So guys, we really appreciate it. We will see you next week for more game time. You're still here? Go home. It's over. Go. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.